mean, you could be gay and evil. Top Max <laughs> <laughs> Brother, I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> So, the latest fandom fad phenomenon that's been blowing up on fandom social media, and has been blowing up for the past few months actually, is making me feel something that I just can't describe cohesively. It's like this goofy oh, amalgamation of awe, nostalgia, horror, fascination, general bewilderment, and giddy delight. If it wasn't clear, we're going to be exploring the fandom that popped out of the old 2000 Disney movie, which was before many of you watching this were born, I'm sure, an extremely goofy movie. I want all of you to know that it took me about an hour to dig this out of my ancient DVD stash at my parents' house. Oh my god, it's still dusty too. <laughs> It's in the sleeve. When I first watched this as a kid, and this was one of like the go-to in the car movies on long road trips, I didn't know that this was the direct-to-DVD sequel to the original Goofy movie. And so when people were like, oh, what happened to Roxy? What happened to Max's girlfriend? I was like, who? This DVD contains interactive DVD-ROM features for your use on your personal computer. In order to access these features, you must have a DVD-ROM drive on your computer and be running Ooh. Windows 95 or higher. And I do want to make it clear that the fans for a goofy movie and an extremely goofy movie has been around for a long time. It's just that this has been a revitalization of it. And the reason for that revitalization and the fandom going viral is not even centered around the actual movie itself. I mean, the movie plays a big role in parts of the fandom, but the big ticket item and what's drawing people into this fandom and making everybody go gaga is a specific pairing. Lovely viewer, I would like to give a very warm welcome to Max Lee. Hi, I'm Max. Bradley, Bradley Uppercrust, the third. It's all of us or none of me. Max, Max, Max. Be ready to wipe the dirt off my shoes. Freshman. Where are all the bodacious Bigfoot babes? Take it easy, Max. You don't even like girls. Yup, it's the pairing between Max Goof, Goofy's son, and Bradley Uppercrust the third, the main antagonist from an extremely goofy movie. A lot of you are probably like, okay, but where did this come from? Because I've been seeing it on my For You page, on my timeline. Everywhere I look, I'm surrounded by angsty dogs blasting chaperone. Like I said earlier, the fandom for the Goofy movies and by extension Maxley isn't anything new. I mean, the ship and the fandom itself has been around for years, decades even. People are even coming out of the woodwork and being like, I've shipped Maxley since I was a kid. Why is it blowing up now? Its viral status began with an Argentinian artist called Anita Draw on Twitter. Anita Draw, who's been a big fan of the Max and Bradley ship for quite some time, came out with a bunch of comics in 2023, featuring the two together, followed by even more fan art and the views and likes on some of these pieces, guys. Holy f Max Lee charmed the fandom masses, but it wasn't until earlier this year in April that things really started to snowball. Anita's comics and art were shared on TikTok and people were like, goofy movie yaoi in the year of our Lord 2024? I want in on this. And so by May, Max Lee had hit the ground running with its very own cult following spurred on by a surge of popular edits and animatics like this. This has over 4 million views. Doodle Spoodle, you spread the Maxley brain rot to a whole lot of people and partially blaming you for it blowing up as well. Anita, who was previously known for her fan works for other cartoons like The Great Mouse Detective and Ed, Ed and Eddie, found herself with a deluge of new attention and new followers all hungry for more Maxley. Some good, some not so good. I keep calling the creator Anita because her username is Anita Draw, but it's a pun. I need to draw. Anai, I am so sorry. <laughs> if you're watching this, great work. I salute you. Thank you for your service. She's also done Boigi stuff in the past, which makes me respect her like that much more. Anai is actually working on a Maxly webcomic called As Goofy As Can Be. And if you want to help support her, she has a Patreon, she has a PayPal. Reading the summary here, the X Games ended in disaster and now it's just a matter of moving on. Max and Bradley will try to get along better after their rivalry in the competition. 
will follow them as they navigate their college lives, constantly facing situations that make it hard for them to reflect. Will either of them be able to recognize what they feel for the other? Fuck dog! What's really interesting to me is that even though Maxley blipped up in April of last year and then started taking off in April of this year, even now, months later, it's still only getting stronger, which is kind of unusual for like these trendy fandom fads. Like they usually last for a few weeks to a couple months. And by the time I get around to making a video about them, I'm like, oh, this has been going on for a while. I should talk about this. They're already starting to peter out a little bit. I think the reasons why Maxley is still going strong and is only getting stronger is because one, it's built off of an established media that's been around for decades, an extremely goofy movie. It's not this hot new movie that people will start to forget about very Really quickly. And so it's cashing in on that nostalgia factor as well as drawing in new people like, wait, what BL is this? As well as the fact that the creator that kind of jumpstarted this Maxley explosion is only making more and more stuff for it too. It's summer, and so a lot of fan creators will have a lot more time on their hands to dedicate towards Maxley shenanigans. And a bonus reason I'm attributing to Maxley's continued full steam ahead route is Chapel Row. Because so many Maxley fan creators have tied her song, Good Luck Babe, to the pairing. And if you've been living under a rock, Chapel Roan is a massively popular pop singer who's been on the rise. She's an icon in the queer community. And because she's been blowing up so much, she's been helping Maxley too. Fans of her music are finding Maxley edits to her songs and are like, wait, this slaps. Oh yes, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention Judy Hopps lover 69 on TikTok. I guess he's really into Judy Hopps, either for the bit or it's genuine, I'm not sure. But either way, he's tied to this whole Maxley goofy movie stuff because he apparently looks a lot like Bradley Uppercrust III. And you know what? Yeah, I see it. Now you may be thinking, okay, I understand how it blew up now, but why do people like it? Well, it's time for me to take you on a ride through the fandom so you can see for yourself. I may be giggling throughout this entire thing because it's still surreal for me to see these two characters I used to watch all the time when I was a kid be shipped together constantly now, but I adore seeing fandom stuff like this. It tickles me so much. I'm just, it brings me so much joy. <laughs> All right, enough sappiness. Where's Maxley? Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I, I, no, 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 no. It's, uh, it's all right, really. You know, I'd wager that if you were on a skateboard, you wouldn't have spilled a drop. <laughs> You'd win that bet. It's my best bet. Hi, I'm Max. Bradley, Bradley Uppercross the third. What timeline am I living in? All right, quit toying with my emotions. I got a bad feel. Okay, but like enemies to lovers, but the hint of denial of a crush. Before Skate the Infinity, we had this ship of the summer. I didn't think I'd ever hyper fixate on anthropomorphic dogs, but here we are. Hang on, if you like Maxley, does that put you on the furry adjacent spectrum? Let me know your thoughts on that. In here that we can't handle. Oh, I seriously doubt that. We're gonna eat you alive, freshly. Okay, are we fighting or flirting? Let me get this. Let me get this straight. Dumbass! You have a fully reloaded shotgun, but you chose to use a one bullet. What? <laughs> this is very them. The, the, the audio is very them. Maybe I need some rehab or the maybe catch up. Oh my god. Session. This I'm really is a throwback in every possible way, down. huh? We're toying with my emotions. I got a bad feel. Okay, these human designs eat. Oh! <laughs> Hold my hand. No! Biblically accurate, Bradley. <laughs> Cosplays. Big We've got cosplays. Hold your goddamn hands! 
hands, you loser! Max with Vitaligo is a popular headcanon that's been brewing a lot. This actually might be the fan art piece that started people giving Max Vitaligo and future fan art. Like this could be the origin of the headcanon. So because Max has black fur, but his face is a lighter tone, more beige, it gives the idea of it being Vitaligo. And so you can see that here as well. It's a really pretty fun interpretation. I dig it. And referencing the white gloves as well for his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Bisexual mode engaged. I love you. It'll pass. No! Bro! It's clean. That is crisp. Russian Maxley? Oh my god, they really are worldwide. Is it like to hold the gyan of someone you love? Riz. Riz. Do they teach you how to feel sigma to sigma? Riz. Riz. Do you long for having your heart rizzed? Riz. Riz. Do you dream about being rizzed? Riz. Maybe TikTok was a mistake. The tears in Bradley Alpha across the third's eyes. You can say Brad, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, but he is. <laughs> Not cigarettes after sex. Why are you depressed? Why are you depressed, Bradley Uppercross the third? Oh, I see. They break up? What happened? You're going too far. You're not invited to my Maxley tea party. Brother, I just woke up. Backstory, please. Bradley deals with Compat, breaks up with Max. Boom, he's gay and he regrets it. Yeah, it's the name of the game. You are not invited to my Maxley themed birthday party. You're not invited to my Maxley themed birthday. Why are there so many birthdays? What is something someone could do to make you fall in love with them instantly? Honestly, bro. Like eye contact and, and a smile. You know what I'm saying? It's just like the passion in their eyes when they're listening to you speak. Dude, don't look at me like that, bro. <laughs> is... That's really cute. Oh my god. I can't. I can't do this. Woo. Goof. Bad time. Bad time. I love how Goofy couldn't care less. He's such a good dad. Yeah, no, Goofy would be so on board. I mean, you know, minus the whole Brad kind of trying to go on a killing spree thing, but I mean, he's a forgiving guy. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 fuck. It was a canon event. It had to happen. <laughs> the amount of cash in here too. love this art style, dude! I really appreciate it when artists also keep Max's tooth gap as well. Hey dad, did you want to meet my boyfriend Bradley? Please don't be homophobic. Boyfriend? Uh, yeah, is that okay? I had a- Quit toying with my emotions. I got a bad feel. The sound! <laughs> Yo, the colors though! Dude, they're so punk x prep coated, but they're both jocks at the same time. It's fun, it's juicy. I don't deserve you. You should be with a real girl. Who are you? I am from ancient Greece. 
That is called the baby girlification of an antagonist, my guy. <laughs> Currently reading a Maxley fic, and I swear to God, they made Bradley into a complete twink. I mean, have you seen him? <laughs> you just need the duality. Like, have him be unhinged and on the verge of a breakdown all the time, but you can still twinkify him a bit if you want. For spice. I was thinking if I might be British. No, don't be British, Bradley Uppercross. <laughs> He's so college student core. That's the most accurate comment I've seen so far. <laughs> I just want to just revisit something real quick. Yes. If you were to put together a draft of people you want to go out with, would I at least be on it? Yeah. How many? How many? How many? How many slots? One. No. Oh. <laughs> Two. What are you asking me right now? Not the little tail, too, dude. He's a he's a prissy dog for sure. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna touch you. Why not? <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Let him be your towel boy. Let him clean up your messes. Whoa, whoa. What yaoi is this? <laughs> mm. What the? Oh, this is so yaoi. <laughs> this anymore. My god, I'm actually gonna cry. Who said he's not a twink? I beg to differ. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I, no, 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 no. It's, uh, it's all right, really. You know, I'd wager that if you were on a skateboard, you wouldn't have spilled a drop. <laughs> You'd win that bet. This is so My good. Best event. Hi. Max. Why are these cosplays so good? <laughs> these are fantastic. Oh my god. Max likes me. That can't be true. Boys can't like boys. Mm. Baby, I'm gonna hold your hand when I say this. Get his chain, get it! Don't bring Roxy into this. Okay, now make them live happily ever after. <laughs> Back arches of- oh. 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 He's a renaissance painting. The faces are so close. <laughs> oh my god, that had 2.6 million views! Toying with my emotions. Oh, this is good too! Bonus Yuri! <laughs> it took me a second, I'm like, he's just flashing a light in Max's- Oh, whoa! That tiny itty bitty waist, just- Stop. Stop. Stop! I can't! I can't do this anymore. I can't. No, no, no. You're invited to my Maxley themed birthday party! This is delicious. <laughs> Why are they so scrumptious in your art style? It's giving supportive rich CEO husband and his skater boyfriend. They definitely explore each other's treasures. <laughs> Canon. Canon event. I am so... You know, I was gonna get super sentimental and zappy about the art and how great it is, but then I see this and it's like, alright, well... 
Okay. <laughs> I missed you. Not the nails. Stop! The claws. I want to grab your thigh. You ripped my t-shirt. Hey, you broke my nose. Twice. You healed. Which person left? Broke it again. <laughs> Two times. Oh. Three times. This is a really cute art style too! Ugh. I'm really happy that there's so much like canon design Maxly stuff as well as human design Maxly stuff. Like there's a good blend of them. You also see all the whiplash of like people drawing Max super like masculine and then Max super cutesy and small and then Bradley very twinkish and baby girlish or Brad being very like muscular jock. Oh, I dig it. He looks like every white boy in college. I really want to see Bradley Junko posing now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Hey, Bradley. <laughs> How he bite the skateboard. I just know he got chompers. <laughs> They're slowly morphing into Steve and Eddie from Stranger Things. Steady wishes. Now I really can't unsee that. Bro, I have it all over my face. I thought you were used to that. Give him your number. Give him your number. Ah! This was my clans. Okay, y'all need to stop saying this. I can't take it. You don't know what you're saying when you say that. Okay, fruit salad. Bro, why does he have blush? He's got a better waist than me, for real. Like, sir, men used to go to war. Give it to me, Frodo. Give you the ring. Mm, no, that makes me so uncomfy. Stop. Uh. Y'all cool with your girl making more money than y'all? Ladies, y'all cool with making more money? Kendrick! Drop another diss track! <laughs> my life is no Do they go fetch and play dead too? Well, the snake bite piercings. Oh! Oh! Herbert bringing back Maxley. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Maybe you shouldn't be in my way. And you, you want to kiss me so bad, don't you? <laughs> no! It's my face this entire video. Doodle dump. Freshman, what do you expect? Not one of the searches being Maxly age gap. Wow, we've really reached this point of fandom discourse already. <laughs> oh, they're delicious! Who does that to their ears? Ew. How do you... Human style. They've been Scott Pilgrim fied. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, quit toying with my emotions. I got a bad feel. Did I take off my glasses? Oh, no, no. This isn't an eye test. It's a gay test. Now tell me, number one or number two? Number one? Interesting. Okay, number one or number two? <gasps> oh, my God. Number two, right? <laughs> I'm gay. Okay, all right. That's good to know. <laughs> okay, looking at AO3 right now, we've got... Oh, 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 oh my god! We have over 500 fix for Max 
Exactly. Dude. People were saying that like a couple months ago it was around 100 and now it's like five times that. Oh my God. Okay, so the majority are teen and up and then mature. It, it makes sense, they're in college. Not rated general and then explicit, but explicit isn't that far behind. Additional tags. We've got bisexual Max Goof, gay Bradley Upper Crust the Third, enemies to lovers, angst, slow burn, fluff, internalized homophobia, hurt comfort, pierced Max Goof, and enemies to friends to lovers. Lord, there's a lot of explicit fix on the first page. <laughs> Some of these fics are literally tagged with good luck, babe. What did I tell you? Shapple and Maxley are forever intertwined. Oh, and there's the ice cream truck. Can I have a um, Maxley popsicle, please? What is the most kudos fic here? I'm curious. It's literally called Curiosity, okay. You're going to want to know what it tastes like, or Max has snake bite piercings and Bradley cannot handle it. I can't handle it either, oh my God. Top Max <laughs> I can't! I can't! I'm- oh my god. This, I'm literally gonna cry! That one's almost complete though. And the next one is roommates. Max Goof and Bradley Uppercrust the third. They're complete opposites. One neat, one a mess. And they can't stand each other. Brad hates Max's smile, his eyes, the way his father supports him. Did he mention he hates his smile? Most of all, he hates the confusing feelings Max causes. Max hates Brad's bratty antics, his ego, and those stupid bushy eyebrows that give away his emotions. They can't stand being around each other, and unfortunately, they share a dorm too small for the two of them. Well, good thing the line between love and hate is so thin and it blurs after a few drinks. Ooh! The skate skate rap. The state skate the state skate rally is approaching and Max is forced to pair up with Bradley for the competition. As he attempts to rekindle Bradley's passion for skating, he realizes that some new and surprising feelings are arising between him and his former enemy. Does Bradley want more than Max than just to be his skate partner? Ooh! I kind of want to read all of these. Max doesn't mind liking Bradley until he likes Bradley. Wow. Oh, one of these is tagged with nodding. For the actual Goofy movie fandom, there's almost a thousand fix. It's probably going to be a lot more within the next couple of weeks. Sorry, why is the second most popular ship in the Goofy movie fandom Max Goof x Yako Warner? Max has two hands. Funny how you go into the overall fandom and the ratings are like, oh, general, teen are the majority, but Max and Bradley by themselves, it's like, oh no, teen, mature, sprinkle of explicit in there. Oh, yo. <laughs> I'm starving. How much longer is this food? I don't know, it should be here in a few minutes. Come here, you got something on your face. What happened? Oh, mama can't wait much longer. Release me. I'm just starving. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. These designs are so good. Oh, Gamma Max. Now there's an AU. <laughs> Goofy says happy pride. My Maxi loves him. I think he looks a little gay, but whatever makes my princess happy. Gay or evil? I mean, you could be gay and evil. It's both. Both is good. Oh. Oh, are they smoking? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Bottom, top, bottom, bottom. No, you don't. You're chopping and that's fine. I like how they lose progressively more clothes as this goes on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She better pass that test, freshman. Whatever you say, dad. I'm being serious. The gloves. I'm just gonna focus on the gloves. Just stroll through campus. Oh my god, you're Bobby's Bradley. Powerline, I have a crush on him. Max was his bisexual awakening. Oh, and Powerline was his bisexual awakening. Hell yeah. Yo, I had to. <laughs> Guys, 
I can scroll forever and there's so much. Oh, this is so cute. Wakey wakey, Maxley fans. So this is seven minutes in heaven. Make out or strangle him with a coat hanger. Fist fight at the Gamma House Queen. Oh, they've got love children. Holy sh Max, they're so small. Why are they so small? God, they are so perfect. I feel like I should not be the one crying here. A lot of Gamma Max AU stuff here. Ooh. Ooh. Figure skater and hockey player. Let's go. I love those AUs. More human AU. Please, 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 please. I'll buy it. I'll buy a Maxley t-shirt in a heartbeat. Me talking to the boys about him, but leaving out the parts where I was an evil narcissist. Oh. The moment when he stops yapping, I'm gonna start yapping, girl. Oh, playing video games. Oh, Mr. Uppercross, Maxie told me you're doing better. Thank you for helping him with studies. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Mr. Goof, would you mind if I stuck around in here with you? I hate reading alone. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Redemption arc. He has an on and off girlfriend. I'm not gay. Details, details. But student loans, <laughs> Max went faster. Maxley Yuri, let's f go. This is just Canon Bradley. Oh. 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 And the tails go faster. Puppy love. Why is my boyfriend really nice to me when I'm sleeping? He'll cover me up with a blanket, kiss me on the forehead, and sometimes come and cuddle me. But when I wake up, he calls me a stupid. B oh, I love this art style. I really like that ship. They're so silly. What do you mean? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm buying this. <laughs> oh. Do they even like each other? Oh, they more than like each other. Maybe just a little. Maxie at a party. Cute. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I just love when a decades old film blows up over a ship. It's so fun. What other instances of this have happened before? Because I know it has happened. I'm just drawing a blank as to what movies and what ships. If you know, then please tell me in the comments. More human designs, amazing. <laughs> and the snake bites. The snake bites are always such a great touch. It drives Bradley bonkers. I'm so weak. It's so good. Max, look, I made us t-shirts. Oh, uh, thanks, Deb, but I don't think... And here's your shirt, son! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. this is so good! Bitch, why don't you shut the fuck up before I slit your throat and watch the honor roll out? Are you threatening me? No, I'm hitting on you. Flash me a titty, bitch. <laughs> Again, there's so much on Tumblr, too. Oh, Bradley in the short shorts. Let's go. They're here to steal your Amazon packages. I think you'd suit a mohawk. You're annoying. Oh! Inspired by the fic, a seriously goofy romance. There's so many things I gotta read now! My backlog's insane, guys. I can't keep adding more to it. Mmm. Do you want to punch you or kiss you? The answer, which is gayer, being LGBT or whatever the f these two got going on. Yeah, just don't mind me hurting literally everything. Mm. They're called extreme games, and one tiny rocket is considered unsportsmanlike and dangerous. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna call it there. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for sticking around this delightful Maxley journey with me. What are your thoughts on this ship? Is it funny? Is it cute? Is it weird? All of the above? If you're a Maxley veteran and started shipping them well before they went viral, then please feel free to share your story and how you got to shipping them. How long do you think this Maxley boom is going to last? Until the end of summer? A few months? the end of the year. And as always, if you'd like to see more fandom and fan culture-esque videos from yours truly, then feel free to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, gosh. <laughs>